So this is where I was wondering, do I go in with foundation first or do I go in with eyeshadow? Yeah, I told you, I already said it's a lot of guesswork going on, but it works. <laughs> hey guys welcome to my channel today you're going to get ready with me for a shoot with victor peace i'm going to prime my face using the mac prep and prime then i'm going to brush my eyebrows upwards i like to brush them upwards slightly upwards so that i can get a fuller look before going over with the eye pencil <laughs> I'm then going to go over with the Davy Eye Pencil number 3. I'm just going to draw over the natural angle of my eyebrow and then I'm going to fill in because I want a darker look on the eyebrows. So I'm just going to keep filling in after drawing the outer line. I want them to be perfect I'm just going to go in and conceal with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Chestnut I'm going to shape them shape them to perfection like shape 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 those eyebrows yeah? <laughs> I'm also going to put the concealer under my eye. Don't ask me why. I think people do it and it works. There's something it does. So I'm just going to go under my eye with the concealer. Then I'm going to also put on that nose so that it can be sharp. Mm -hmm. Then I'm also going to conceal my dark areas like generally especially the area around my lips because it's usually a bit darker I'm going to go in there with the concealer as well It looks a lot but this is what gives me that flawless and smooth finish when I go in with the foundation then I'm going to just blend in with my blender which I have sprayed the primer and I'm going to blend 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 dab 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 on my face I'm going to blend until I feel like the concealer is well settled <laughs> So with this brush, I'm just going to clean the area around the eyebrow so that it doesn't look whitish at the end. So this is where I was wondering, do I go in with foundation first or do I go in with eyeshadow? Yeah, I told you, I already said it's a lot of guesswork going on, but it works. 
So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, um, shade 360. <laughs> So just take a lot of time to blend it in so that it can settle well on my skin and I'm going to also do the same to my neck which if you notice is also darker than my face and uh, so that it can blend in. For the eyebrow part, I'm also going to use the same brush to clean it up with uh, the foundation so that this part does not look whitish. Then I'm going to go in with my very random eye palette, eyeshadow palette. I'm going to just choose earth toned colors. I don't know the name of this palette, it's really old. I'm going to use the goldish and the brown color. A bit scared to do this on my own I got help to put the eyeliner on my eyelid and I also got help putting the Huda Beauty 4 lashes um, which I bought for like a hundred shillings or 150 I don't know who knew an Afrocom would come in handy in fixing the glue like wow just wow so I still got help to do it you have your heart in the chase so Kept adjusting the eyelashes with my fingers until it settled in well Hey, hey what do you say? It takes two to play the game Oh, I know it's pretty country Now look the other way, son Time for you, I ain't got none but Then I'm going to go in with this Fenty foundation Fenty Beauty yeah, it's a very dark shade. So I'm going to do this thing that people call uh, contouring. Yeah, I'm just going to do it around the face. Yeah, so that it can look natural or something like that. And because I touched my face a lot when doing the um, eye makeup, I'm just going to go over it again with my Maybelline foundation. Then I'm going to go with this lipstick. It's called the Blushing Girl Tooth in the shade Lenana. It's a matte lipstick. I think it's Kenyan owned and it feels very very smooth. I'm going to mix it with my Maybelline lipstick in the shade 64 because I want that kind of ombre look. Eh? Yeah. I 
think this was my favorite part because I actually knew what I was doing. So if you if you've stayed this far for this video, please give it a thumbs up. Then I'm going to go in with the Milani Glow Powder just to give these photos a bit of a glow when I smile. Yeah, I'm going to do the powder along the cheek area. I finished off with the MAC Prep and Prime to set the makeup and then I wore my wig which if you haven't watched the tutorial be sure to click on the link to make your own afro wig. So that's it guys, thank you so much for stopping by and like this video if you enjoyed this simple guesswork and also leave a comment on what you actually think about the final look or even the funny process. See you on the next one and please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Mwah. You better be wise and turn them down oh.